Gentlemen, I just want to start with a sincere congratulations on this. Uh, you guys made a fantastic movie. Thank you. Um, so, uh, individual question to start things off for each of you. I'm going to start with you. I'm a big fan of your work. I'm curious of the films you've made, which film changed the most in the editing room in ways you didn't expect going in? That's such an interesting question. That's a really interesting question because there are films I've made that have very complex editorial structures like my Bob Dylan biopic, I'm Not There, for instance, or Velvet Goldmine. Both of those are mu music driven, popular uh, artist driven stories. But I would say in some ways, Carol, I think underwent some transformative decision making in the editing room. It was just too big and long a film and it sprawled in some different directions. And it was all, we were happy with all the components, but you have to make tough choices sometimes and, and eliminate things, you know, and, and, and sort of sear into what the real core of the story is. And that happened in the, in the process of cutting uh, Carol. Individual question for you. Yes. Uh, you are so good in this role. It's such Thank a you. it's such a uh, great role. So I guess the big question is, how much did you pay Todd to be in it? So I've been stalking Todd for about ten years now. Charles, do we have to get into? No, this? no, no, no. Yeah, no, no, no. Because, no sorry. <clears throat> um, a lot of. <laughs> Being serious, though, this is a great role for you. So okay. how much did you really want this one? You know, w w when, when I read Sammy's script, I immediately fe felt this connection to Joe, who this man was, his feelings. Though our experiences are different, I found a lot of parallels in my own life. And to have this opportunity, it was a six week process of auditioning. And each day, it wasn't like I got to book this job. It was more like uh, just discovering this, uh, the, the way I wanted to work and not, that I had this opportunity to work like this and just diving into just who this man was and what he represented and just this responsibility that he had at such a young age that he carried to the age of 36 and just this repressed, um, um, human who kind of starts asking himself the question that he's never really had the chance to ask as we see in the movie. One of the things that I really dug about this film, one of the many things, is that I, I watch a lot of movies and often I can predict what the next scene is going to be and where it's all going. This script has none of that. I really had no idea where it was ultimately going to go. Can you talk about that aspect of the script that it, A, it keeps you guessing at all times and B, it never judges anyone in the yeah. film? Mm. That's such an interesting question. I, I felt the same way when I read it. There's a treacherousness about how it it walks you from around your expectations, I think. Mm. And you begin to be at odds with your own presumptions about one character or another. Neither of the central female characters are ever redeemed in the film. And you keep shifting your sense of reliability or trust in one versus the other. But what's so lovely about the way it's structured is that it's the third act that opens up this space for Charles's character, Joe, to really find the focus of the film. But it happens with such a different kind of language and it's very delicate and it's very tender. And the rest of the film hasn't really been that way. And so that third act is really something that the film earns. Is there anything you'd like to add? Everything Todd said. Everything Todd said. <laughs> then I'll just say this. So for both of you, you're looking at the schedule, you see what you got to do, you have a limited time frame. What's the day that you had circled as to, I cannot wait to film this, or holy F, how are we going to film this? For me, it was when I found out, when Todd called me and I found out I booked the role of Joe. I was like, I can't wait. I even went to, Todd and I hung out, I went, I went to Savannah a bit earlier to see him. I saw you in Portland or LA before that too. I, I, I don't know. I just dove right in and yeah, it, you know, it, the, the, it, those 23 days, just life-changing and just the way Todd, the way he, the, 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 the director he is, the human he is, and just everybody just was, we're at the top of their game. And it was just so collaborative and so intimate and so magical, the whole process. Uh, I would, I would, I would probably, there's so, there's so many scenes I was looking forward to actually getting into once we saw how the 
language was being sort of played out. The, 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 the camera that holds and lets actors play within the frame and the mirror scenes where the actors are playing directly to the lens of the camera. But it is, I would have to say, Elizabeth's monologue that happens toward the end of the film, which is one of the simplest scenes to shoot, but one of the most important scenes dramatically in the film. And, but the whole idea of the static camera around a mirror originated from that, think when I first read that scene and how I wanted to shoot it, but that scene came on the second to the last day of our mm -hmm. shoot. So we built up to the whole scenes in the, in the inn. And that was the second to the last day. And it was just a remarkable, inexplicable thing to watch that, that actor Natalie Portman create. Yeah, when I was watching it, I was wondering how, because that's a performance and you need to be emotionally ready to deliver that. So I'm, I'm sure she knew that was coming on that day. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, every day was loaded because it was such a tight yeah. schedule. Every day was like, okay, here we go. <laughs> to get through it. You know, it was, it was a challenge, but it just felt like we were all in it together. Mm -hmm. Everybody had a role to play. Everybody was essential to the process of mm -hmm. it succeeding. So everybody felt needed. And I think that shared the sense of all, that we were all part of it. And it was a true collaborative experience. On that note, I have to stop. I'm just going to say congratulations and good luck with the rest of your speed dating. 